excessive rust on the burners. Didn't see a crack down below. So I'll be looking for, uh, did not see a crack on the bottom side of the heat exchanger. So I'll be looking for, I'll open up the transition. Let's see what happens here. Simple duck board transition, easily sliced through the uh, securing tape. Didn't even have to cut any insulation in the insulation board. Let's take a look on the inside. Evaporator coil dirty. And the reason why the evaporator coil is dirty, we shift over. We look at the insulation. If you notice, this insulation right there is darker color than there or there. Let me take it off. Do you notice that this insulation right there, look close, seems darker? That's because the return air chase is drawing air through. The return air chase is not sealed. It draws air through the surrounding insulation. So that is a noticeably discolored from over here and over there. That would indicate to me if that is near a return air chase, such as that, you would have a return air chase not sealed. Then we have a hole where a gas line goes down. Don't you love it? You put your flame stick at that location where the hole is in the floor and you'll see your flame is distorted, sucked down that area. So we're sucking in air, attic air, from the return air chase connection to the return air chase duct. We're looking at the inside of a heat exchanger. The far side with the silver, that's the exterior wall to the far left of your screen. Chamber number one. Chamber number two, chamber number three, and then the exterior wall here. So basically return air chase, what you want to do is look on the inside. My light is focused on a hole in the heat exchanger. We'll see if we can get a closer look. I apologize for the camera action here because I'm holding it. So let's see what we can do. Ugh. No, I missed it. Okay, let's try it again. There we go, I might see it now. There we go. Hold the exchanger. Okay, this device right here uh, I forget what that is uh, Heat sensor of some type. It's a bimetallic strip. That is your uh, eh, We'll come back to that, but I know exactly what it is. It just escapes me I'll be looking for a crack in the heat exchanger or a hole I'll be looking Right about here. Oh, there we go. How's that? Due to the age of this unit, you can replace the heat exchanger, but you're only given a one year warranty. The cost of the re heat exchanger replacement is approximately, like, say, $500, where total replacement is maybe $1,200, $1,500. We tend to like, prefer total replacement of a unit of this age.